Good morning, Crystal here from Homemaking on the Homestead. I thought I'd just share with you some of the happenings um, lately for me and uh, around my homestead. I enjoy doing these kind of day in the life type videos. Although by the time I get all my footage and everything, it's more like several days in my life. That's the interesting thing about this season of my life is that I uh, don't have as many busy things going on. If you have a lot of activity or a big family or something like that, or there's always something, you know, to be filming. And I find my, my life and my days are simple and there's a, there's a lot of routine. I really love routine. It's kind of what holds, it's kind of like the glue that holds life together, I think. And uh, since my husband retired, it's, it's the whole aspect of routine has even meant more to me. Really finding a lot of uh, peace and contentment in a simple routine. Yeah. The animal chores can often be a shared um, job with my daughter and her family. Normally, my grandkids take care of all the animals. Um, I step in occasionally when they're not home or they're doing, busy doing something. And uh, I always enjoy the, the process. I'd say it's one of the benefits of living together in an integrated household. When we're busy doing things or gone, she steps in and takes care of things that I do. And, and when they're gone, then you know I step in or both my husband and I will step in and take care of things. Our spring this year has been particularly dry. So there has certainly been a lot of sunny days, but we every now and then we'll have several days of rain, which is good because we're, we really actually need the rain. Um, 
but I kind of picked those times to find a new project and so I have my my own little kitchen area uh, that way she can do her thing in her kitchen area and I do my thing in my kitchen area and it was in need of a really big cleaning and reorganizing so I spent an afternoon doing that I find a lot of contentment in my in the simplicity of of my daily life. Uh, the world has gotten crazy, in my opinion, at least, and it's just really nice to have the things in life that you can just go back to and focus on and put a, put aside a lot of those other things that might cause stress or might cause uh, can concern and not that concern isn't good I think sometimes we have to weigh what we can actually do about something versus what we can't do and of course do the things that we can do and the rest of it needs to be given to the Lord in, in a prayer and remember that he already has a little plan for each of us and each of our lives and every day take the time to focus on what is it that God wants for me today? What is my goal? What is, you know, no matter what goes on outside, his desire for uh, my life doesn't necessarily change. As I was editing this video and, um, and just thinking a lot about simplicity and the Lord's direction, I, I had to, uh, it, it made me think of contentment. I love the concept of contentment because contentment isn't based on something outward it's inward contentment isn't based on whether we feel happy today or whether we don't feel happy today um, contentment is a is a, a is a deep satisfaction inside of what we do have and what god has provided for us and it's so easy to fall into negativity and that's what I try to avoid you know look at the positive in life because there's a lot of things to be to be positive about and to be thankful about I really think contentment is so important that we learn to appreciate and value what we have no matter no matter what that is as the weather here slowly starts to warm up of course swimming becomes one of those things on our, our list and that and our pond is very cold it comes from it's fed by two underground springs and it takes a while for the water to warm up in the summer but that doesn't stop us from at least attempting and uh, it was about the middle of April or so when I took this video footage and my husband had brought down a, a thermometer and put it in to see how cold the water was so it was about 54 degrees um, so he was a lot braver than I. I at least got in a, a couple steps, but then changed my mind. <laughs> One of the highlights that we enjoyed a couple weeks ago was taking a little mini three-day vacation. Uh, it was, we just felt the need to kind of get out and, and do something different. And so we headed north, uh, so we didn't get warmth, you know, like a vacation might have, but, but boy, we got some beautiful, beautiful views and we headed to a, a little town up in northern Washington called Port Townsend and it's got a lot to offer beaches and sailing and boats and harbors and you know lots of water Washington especially in the northern area is known to have a lot of water uh, basically Port Townsend is west of Seattle but across a whole lot of water and they have ferries that will take you back and forth and of course you could drive uh, but you'd have to go from Port Townsend you have to go fairly far south 
to wrap up and then go back north to get to Seattle. So it could turn into a, a two or three hour drive if you went that way, or you can take the ferry across. And we've done that in the past, uh, back when the kids were young, but it was really relaxing. Really we've taken a few walks as of late. I was kind of sad to see we have uh, some neighbors down a ways from us who did some logging. And so that was kind of sad to see because I love the forest and I love the trees. And But it is a necessary thing to, to maintain the land around here and occasionally do some logging. In the summer, the threat of forest fires can be fairly high at times. And so the more things are cleared out can be a benefit if something was to happen. While they've been gone, I, of course, have been collecting the eggs. And oh my goodness, I'm... You know, I didn't want my daughter to come home to many dozens of eggs, so I'm, I'm baking and scrambled eggs for breakfast. I'm thinking that I need to maybe freeze some eggs. I've actually never done that. When I had this many chickens, I had a lot of kids. So we had no problem using lots of eggs. Uh, but now I'm a little bit wondering you know what how to how to deal with them and uh, I know you can freeze them if anybody has ever done that maybe you could leave me a comment and tell me how that how that worked I've heard of like omelet in a bag where you scramble them up and then pour them into a ziploc bag and freeze them I've enjoyed spending some time visiting with you guys and I'm I really appreciate each and every one of you that comes by my channel and spends some time uh, with me I I value that a lot uh, it's been fun to talk with some of you and get to know you through the comments. Um, it's it's a real blessing to me when I when I get to hear from some of you, and uh, and like I said, getting to know some of you. I know a lot of people have known me for a long time because I've been online for so many years, whether it was my website or my blog and now my YouTube channel. But there's a lot of people that are new that I haven't met, and so I, I value that a lot and I thank you for that. As I've been sitting here, the clouds have actually gotten thicker and I'm feeling some sprinkles. Not a whole lot, but I figure I'd better get my camera equipment back inside, huh? <laughs> all right, well, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.